Chairman. Boxing King Media in association with Box Raw. Uh, Steffi Bull, uh, literally fight week. You've got a big show this week in Doncaster. Uh, you've got your old charge. You won't mind me saying that. Lee Appleyard fighting for the Central Lady title. Yeah. Uh, talk to me about it, fighting Dan Booth. Yeah, good fight. Uh, Lee has been waiting waiting around for the last six, probably knocking up 12 months for a big fight. We were in talks, weren't we, with the return with uh, Levi, which were going to happen on a TV, and then I think Lee, uh, Levi had problems with medical issues, uh, so we were hanging around for that, which dragged on and on, and then we just took the decision to uh, do some of ourselves, so pulled out, put the central area super lightweight title were vacant, and obviously... We were looking for uh, credible opponents and come up with uh, Dan Booth. So, yeah, main event, Lee Appleyard versus Dan Booth. Only one defeat on his record, being winning by knockouts in the away corner. So, very uh, intriguing fight. Lee, Lee's done bag loads of tickets and I think he's got some support coming up from Manchester. So, it should make for a good, good solid central area title fight. From what I've seen, Dan's not fought at super lightweight before, as he, I think he's been fighting at super well to middleweight. Yeah, I, I, I won't read too much of them. I think he'll have been taking fights on short notice kind of thing. He's probably not had opportunity so much to be fighting in home corner. Uh, I did try and make the fight for Anthony Tomlinson and and, and, uh, and Bove, and that's when uh, his management said he, he is a super lightweight. We noticed that's where he wants to go, and then that's where it gave me an idea to flick on into Lee and him. So... Yeah, I don't read too much into that. It probably is a super lightweight, just never actually had a full camp and, and boxed at that division. I understand there were some issues earlier on, the fight was made, and then I think it was done. Oh. Was some issues over tickets or something? The, the issues over all sorts. I mean, the, the fight were made, done, and then like a week or two later, after it all, I've done all the legwork, gets it approved, and like I'm getting screenshotted. Facebook statuses about me, uh, we him going in hard and I, I'm this, I'm that. I'm, I might have even been called a rat or something like that, but uh, change golf balls, wanting more money, wanting everything. And I've got voice notes, what his manager sent me for him. In, 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 in fact, let me, shall I get it up and let you hear this voice note just to show you? But he, he'd, uh, he'd basically, a fight were all agreed and then all of a sudden I'm seeing on Facebook that I'm a rat, he wants more money, he wants everything, but... He sounded pretty desperate for a fight when uh, when you listen to this, but... Uh, go, go for it. I think yeah, the fans will think, enjoy yeah. listening to some uh, voice notes, <laughs> as long as nothing too <laughs> personal is revealed. But, yeah, I mean, it, it won't an hard fight to make, so it should be exciting. You get two and a half quid off him cash, then, yeah? And then fucking we'll, do, we'll sort the rest out on a ticket deal, 100%, bro. Where's the show going to be? Just accept the fucking fight, because I want it bad. That <laughs> apple yard, mate... <sighs> He does not stand up. Joe, like I told, I told Lee Bundell straight away, I will knock Andrew Fleming out cold. I'm telling you straight away, I will knock Lee Appleyard out fucking cold, bro. <laughs> I'm the Central Area champion. Me now. Fucking accept the fight, get it done, bro, and I need that fight. So, so basically, that's an acceptance of a two and a half grand offer, which it, it won't add, it, it was done and simple. So then, yeah, it was simple as that. And then a few weeks later, they started coming back, we wanting. 50% of tickets, uh, another grand, and this went on for a week, and I just like sat sat down and I thought, I'm not doing it. Like I've agreed, it's, this is small old boxing. You risk it, you know, it's hard enough to, to get things over the line. And I sat down with Lee and he says, just let him go elsewhere. Uh, we'll, we'll have another look. Uh, and, and then all of a sudden, I was getting screenshotted of crazy status as having a go I'm a rap promoter and this and that and, but anyway all loving and we got the year over so he's got a good deal on tickets as well as his two and a half grand purse so we've got to send a good fight I think I think to be fair listening to that voice not credit to uh, Dan Booth uh, he's, he looks like he's going to bring some smoke Saturday night and we've got a good fight yeah going to knock fuck out him he says in it what's that I will knock I will KO Lee Appleyard so let's see I mean I've never seen Lee get knocked out he's, he's always fit always ready it's a good fight it's a good fight. They'll be looking at Lee as if he's back end of his career at 35 year old. He probably is, but he's still got a the, the a performance in him. And uh, Lee's never in a big fight, is it, mate? He's done over 200 tickets. He's done over 150 tables. I think it's 160 tables paying for it. He's very likable. To say we're only from from little villages, so uh, he's going to want to bring it. He's, there's a lot of 
he, he's got an opportunity to leave. He, he turned pro losing a lot more than he won. It was just a bit of fun for him. And he's got, on next Saturday, he's got an opportunity to be a two-weight champion, uh, English lightweight champion and a uh, central area. And it's some career when, when you've come from amateurs to no no. And that's what happens when you can dedicate yourself. And he, he's so dedicated and I would love him to uh, finish that night, main event at Donny Dome in his own town and be a two-weight two-weight champion. I think he definitely deserves that. Well, may the best man win because I think you've got a great fight and if there's still tickets available, fans, get yourself yeah, down there. You can still purchase them on door. Please come. Definitely.